All right, hello again. Um, so, since the last time I made a video, I found a few things out. Um, I've started looking into the file format that Facebook uses. Uh, they use GLTF format. Um, and what I found out is it's an excellent format. It's new. Uh, it's definitely going to be the way to go for VR in the future, I think. But the problem is the uh, file format isn't currently really well supported by content creation software. So my initial experiments with Oculus Home, I had found a free conversion website where you could upload your FBX file and you could convert that to a GLB file. Uh, and that worked pretty well. The problem that I'm having is I use Maya to create, and I had talked a little bit about shaders in the last video. Uh, and what I found is if I use the uh, Stingray uh, physically based shader in Maya, the normal maps in me metallic and roughness, those maps turn out really well, uh, but emissives don't work, they don't convert. And when I use the Fong shader in uh, Maya and then convert the FBX file, uh, emissives work. So as you can see, I've gotten emissives to work in this space. But then the normal maps, at least the normal maps, I'm not sure about the others, but at least the normal maps don't work at all. Um, so I'm still doing some experimentation there. There's a few other uh, ways in which you can get... Uh, your FBX file into a GLB file. Um, you can do it via, there's a uh, compiled program that Facebook offers called FBX2GLTF. Um, I have downloaded it and compiled it, but I haven't been able to actually get it to work. Uh, there are some experimental Maya uh, add-ons that supposedly will let you export as GLTF, but I haven't gotten those to work either. So if anybody has any success with that, let me know. But anyway, uh, I wanted to show a couple of things with this. I wanted to talk about the shaders and the uh, file types uh, a little bit again, because I had touched on that in my last video. But what I really wanted to do uh, that I didn't go over in the last video was show how easy uh, setting up your experience, your your oculus home is so let me pull up an inventory here so uh, well first of all you can lock or unlock your home so right now my home is unlocked which means i can put things in it and move them around um, and so you go up into inventory um, so this is things that you've imported now i haven't actually imported any items these are examples for custom imported files uh, and then these are the groupings of the items that you get. I had mentioned like the Oculus goodie bags. So you get a uh, three boxes a week for using Oculus and then you'll get goodie boxes for uh, doing other things with Oculus or spending extra time in the platform. It's a really neat way to reward people for, for uh, using the platform. So basically, um, you can just grab your items out of the inventory file you set them down if you see there and it locks to the surface and you can move them around and you can rotate them and then whoop, set it down and there it is uh, as you can see there's a ton of items uh, differently themed now uh, this is really cool it's a little fairy tree that they had given you I really like the bigger items and you can see they put a lot of uh, effort and detail into these so the fairy will flit around the tree I'm sorry I'm turning here the fairy will flit around the tree until you get close and then once you get close it goes down and hides in the little hole there and this is an item that oculus put in the goodie bag I got out of the goodie bag from the store that's so really neat um, I showed this in the last video I really like this little mobile solar system uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, I wanted to show, uh, which I didn't show in the last video, I wanted to show portals. Um, so, 
those come up here under special items. Oh, so there's a couple things in special items. These are things that Oculus gave you that are really interactive. So you have these wall-mounted TVs, and I had put little uh, arms for the TVs, mounting arms, in my experience. So I can just set that right there. Grab another one. Set that right there. Grab another one. Set that right there. Grab another one. There. Last one. And I can go back and straighten those out or even them up when I want to make it look nice and tidy. Uh, see what else we've got in the objects. Oh, I wanted to show portals. Sometimes I get distracted. Uh, so they give you 10 of these and you can either make the portal to another one of your experiences or you can make it to somebody else's experience and it's really easy to set up. So you basically set it in your scene. Uh, you get close, there's a little button on it that says choose place, you click. Uh, so if I wanted to make this go to my homes, so there's mine, I just select mine and set now and boom the portal set up. And then uh, at the same instance you can take a portal, you can set it up. Doo -doo. So, go up here, and I'm going to set it to one of my favorite places. So, these are the places I have favorited. Uh, this one was one I showed in my last video. Set that, set now, and boom. So, that goes to uh, the place that had the zombies and the dragons and uh, the bow and arrow that you could use. Speaking of which, uh, so, let's see, we'll take this and we'll set it over here. Um... Decorations, what else have we got? That would be good to show. They there's a bunch of paintings and pictures. And they do big things like the you know, the mobile solar system and the fairy tree. And they do little things like figurines and knickknacks. Um this is cool, this is a fan. I can take that and just uh let's see, plop it on the wall over there. There we go, straighten it out a little bit, there. But they've made it really uh, easy and intuitive to um, place things in your scene. So this is something that's really neat to me. Uh, I don't know how to bring something like this into Oculus currently. I don't think we have the full functionality, but it has uh, translucent material on the jellyfish. Uh, you've got... Uh, translucent material for the for the cage you've got animated material to get the bubble effects I'm assuming um, and there's a uh, sound effect attached to the item um, you can if you can hear it the bubbling water so I assume that at some point this will be something that anybody uh, making things for the oculus home ecosystem or what have you will be able to do um, it's just not all open to us currently that I am aware of Set that over there. Is there anything else? All right. Oh, this is one of the little... Oh, no, that's a full statue of armor. So that was a knickknack, and it's not. That's the one problem with this setup, is you can't tell how big things are until you pull them out. And... Some trees and some pots. A little puppy. Now the knight has a puppy. Rugs. Oh, this is cool. Oh, and I have it in my other experience. So there's a door, if you can see it here. Uh, it's really neat. I have it in the other experience. So let's hop over to that. Uh, so I brought this um, in. So this is the, the version I brought in with the Fong shader that let me do the emissives. And then I have another version of this home up that uses the, uh, the PBR shader. And it doesn't let me do emissives. And so it's not as bright, but I've already decorated this uh, a little bit. So I have a fairy tree and I have that door. And so this is supposedly like a teaser for a game that Oculus is, is building. And uh, I assume at some point this door will open and it will be a portal into the game. Um, that is my guess at what this is. Um, oh, here's another really neat piece of furniture that they had put... In the Oculus goodie box, you've got the little flitting birds. And they also have a little sound effect. It's really cool. 
Uh, here's some portals up to some of the different places. And uh, yeah, this I have all the TV screens up and I have portals up, uh, but I don't have very good lighting and I don't really know how to fix that. And so it's kind of dark. I, I realized in the last video it was dark on the edges. Um, so yeah, so that's some updates on what I'm doing with Oculus Home and some of the stuff that I've learned so far. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the stream now. Thanks for watching.